Now we have been creating charts without including chart titles. For this chart, let's see what happens when we include the column headers in our ranges. As usual, let's highlight the range we want to use. Once the range is highlighted, navigate to the Insert tab and click on it. Then, click on Recommended Charts again. This will display a completely new set of charts. Now, click on options like Clustered Column Chart, Stacked Area Chart, Stacked Column Chart, and Scatter Chart. Go to All Charts and then click on the Line Chart Type. Review the charts and notice how different they are from the previous ones. These charts now use multiple datasets on a single chart for a given period of time. When you find the one you like, click OK. Since we selected all the regions, they will now be displayed as a legend below the chart, but we will cover everything, don't worry. A multiple line chart displaying each region's sales per month over a year offers several advantages. It allows for easy comparison of sales trends across different regions, highlighting variations in performance and identifying which regions excel or lag behind. This visualization facilitates the recognition of seasonal patterns and helps in understanding how sales fluctuate month by month for each region. By focusing on individual region performance, it enables targeted strategic planning and resource allocation. Additionally, multiple line charts enhance clarity, making it simple to track progress and make informed decisions based on each region's sales behavior throughout the year. Overall, this approach provides valuable insights for optimizing regional sales strategies. Now let's take another example using this chart. Highlight our working range, including the month column and the range for the regions, but this time let's not include the column headers. Once you're done, navigate to the Insert tab again and click on Recommended Charts. Then, select the line chart and click OK at the bottom. In the context of the line chart for the four region series, series refers to the individual lines representing sales data for each region over time. Each series allows viewers to compare performance across regions at a glance. If the series are not named with their actual names, it can lead to confusion, making it difficult to interpret the data accurately. This lack of clarity can hinder decision making, as stakeholders may struggle to associate trends with the correct regions, impacting strategic planning. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. If you want to dive deeper and watch the full lesson on Excel charts and graphs, I've provided the link in the video description below. Additionally, if you'd like to stay updated with more tips and tutorials, feel free to join my WhatsApp channel by clicking the link in the channel description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you for watching.